it's really important to know how deep in the court your opponent's shot is going to land because if you don't recognize what zone of the court it's going to land, you might take the wrong footwork in the wrong direction to get there and end up missing or hitting a poor shot. So in this exercise, I'm gonna call out number one if I think that my opponent's ball is gonna land in front of the water bottles, or I'm gonna say two if I think it's gonna land behind the water bottles. And I'm gonna do that before the ball bounces. So I'm working on my depth perception of my opponent's shot. Two. One. One. So I know that if their shot is going to land in zone one in front of the water bottles, I often have to move forward to that shot. So if I'm late recognizing that, I might put myself in a difficult situation. If the ball lands in zone two, I might be able to stay put at the baseline, or I might even go backwards if I have the space if the ball is landing deep in zone two. One. 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 Two. Two. One. One good trick is to watch your opponent's paddle and watch how high the ball goes off of their paddle. Typically higher shots are gonna land in zone two, deeper in the court. And when you do this, you'll probably make some mistakes. Even, even now, I was making some mistakes, calling one, the ball landed a foot deeper. So this is a really good exercise to train your perception so that you start moving in the most efficient direction possible. One more example. Two. Oh, I misread that, but it was okay. Two. One. Two.